Mountain fire on the water, an historic home going up in flames, and now a total loss. It was one of only seven Stiltsville houses left. Let's go to Local 10's Amy Viteri, live now with the damage and the investigation. Amy. Well, Calvin, as you know, these properties are such a unique part of Miami's history. Even the firefighters out on scene tasked with putting out these flames, remarking on camera about just how sad this was. Investigators now looking into how this happened. Wow, this is so sad. A piece of Miami's history gone. Video from Miami Fire Rescue shows fireboat crews battling flames at one of the few remaining properties in Stiltsville on Biscayne Bay early Monday morning. We were able to speak to one of the caretakers who states that the house was not occupied at the time, so there were no injuries luckily today. We took a trip to see the damage up close. This was the Lee Shaw home in a photo shared with Local 10, one of a handful of colorful homes on stilts that date back to the 1920s and 30s, famous in the 60s for wild parties and invite-only clubs. And this is all that is left, just charred remains of this structure. We're told no one was authorized to be here this morning. Fire officials say they're now looking into just how this happened, whether it was an accident or something deliberate. Right now, it's undetermined. Our cameras were there as local and state investigators headed out to the scene. It was a mainly wood structure with concrete pillars, so that will cause it to ignite rather quickly and burn rather intensely. The homes now owned by the National Park Service and looked after by caretakers who have access to the properties. It was very scary, obviously, and obviously very fearful that it could be ours. They're all wood and they could go up any day now. Laura Roberts rushed out Monday morning to make sure it wasn't the stilt home that's been in her family for 47 years. Before Hurricane Andrew, there were 25. Unfortunately, after Hurricane Andrew, only seven remained. A huge loss as that number now down to just six and perhaps the saddest part about all of this under the current agreement, homes in Stiltsville that are destroyed cannot be rebuilt. We're live in Miami Beach, Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.